Institute of Management Studies. Today, under pricing, we'll talk about different aspects of pricing in value-based, target return, going rate pricing, and transfer pricing. Value pricing. When we talk about value pricing, the customer is wanting to seek value from for whatever price that he is paying to the organization. How do we understand and how do we come to a conclusion that the price that we set is the appropriate when we talk about value pricing? One important aspect that has to be remembered over here is when we talk about value pricing, value pricing is adopted by a particular product or for a particular service when the product is mainly in the growth or the maturity stage of the product life cycle. The reason being, the product has traveled from introduction to certain stages, has understood the market conditions, the kind of operating conditions that are existing in this market, and understands and realizes very clearly that, clearly that it can deliver value to the customers, hence value pricing. We'll talk about what exactly is value pricing all about. This implies that this is a method in which the organization tries to win over the loyal customers by charging prices which could be little lower and the price, the quality of the product could be way higher than what is offered by the rest of the competitors. The organization aims to become a low cost producer without sacrificing on the quality perspective of the product or the service. It can deliver high quality products at low prices by improving the research and development process. Value pricing is also called as value optimized pricing strategy. Target return pricing. When we talk about target return pricing, imagine a startup. This startup intends to achieve its break-even point after a couple of years and wants to achieve a certain target after, the, after it reaches the break-even point. Break-even point is the point beyond which the company actually started, starts fetching profits into the organization. When I talk about target return pricing, I need to work backwards and understand and realize what exactly is my target how much is the target period that I have in my hand and what is the target that I am wanting to achieve when I am talking about target return pricing. Target return pricing helps companies to achieve a particular target with clear specific objectives laid in the minds of the customers. This is required rate of return on the investment that is done for a particular product. So in other words, the price of a product is fixed on the basis of the expected profit in a particular given period of time. So I am wanting to achieve a particular target in a specific period of time. I am talking about target return pricing. Going rate pricing. When we talk about going rate pricing, this is the kind of pricing strategy that I set for my product or my service based on what exactly is the pricing strategy that is offered by organizations which are locally available in the market. So in the local market, where I am not talking about branded competitors like market leaders or market challengers, but there are more players which are locally existing in the market. So I look at what exactly is the pricing strategy that these local players have adopted and I set the price, similar price for my product. So here in this category, I may not be a market leader or a market challenger myself. I am looking at the parallel pricing strategies which are adopted by the local competitors and having similar kind of strategy adopted for my kind of product or a service that I am giving in the market. This kind of pricing strategy is talking about going rate pricing. This implies this is a, that this is a method of that the organization sets the price of a product according to the prevailing price or prevailing trends that are happening in the business to business markets. Transfer pricing. When we talk about transfer pricing, this is a kind of pricing which involves selling of goods and services within the organization within the different departments in the organization. It is done to manage the profits and loss ratios of different departments within the same organization. One department of an organization can sell its products to the other departments. It could be in the same location or it could be in a different geographic location. The example, best example of this is Google, IBM companies like this do not want to show on their book of records that the stock was overstock or they do not want to give a picture to the audit team that the stock was not utilized. So what am I doing out here? I'm transferring the extra amount of inventory into other department. It could be the same organization and a different department or it could be a different geographic location where I'm transferring this extra inventory. This is called as transfer pricing in business to business markets. Transfer pricing is used to show higher profits in the organization by showing fake sales of the products or the services within the same departments of the same organization. With that, we understand the different kinds of pricing strategies that are used in business-to-business -business markets. 
we also understood with different examples the significance of different kinds of pricing strategies. When we talk about value-based pricing, when we talk about competition-based pricing, when we talk about demand-based pricing, these are the methods which come into picture and which are more predominantly used in the business-to-business -business markets itself. The kind of pricing strategies that we discussed in the last video talked about value pricing, target return pricing, going rate pricing and transfer pricing. We also spoke about demand based, competition based and cost based pricing methods. These are more predominant when we talk about them from the manufacturer to the end customer. What exactly are the steps that an organization has to adopt when talking about setting the final price for a particular product across different stages of product life cycle in the market. Thank you.